If you're pregnant and have noticed changes in your belly button, you might be wondering if this has anything to do with your baby's gender. Before we reveal the truth about this topic, check out the essential baby products in the description. They will make your journey even more comfortable. During pregnancy, many women notice changes in their belly button. For some, it pops out. For others, it stays in. But does this really indicate whether the baby will be a boy or a girl? Let's dive into the facts and separate myths from reality. I know there are many old wives' tales about pregnancy, and one of the most common is that your belly button's appearance can predict your baby's gender. Some believe that if the belly button sticks out, you're having a boy, and if it stays in, it's a girl. But is there any scientific evidence to support this? The reality is that the shape of your belly button during pregnancy has nothing to do with your baby's gender. What really causes this change is the growth of the uterus. As it expands, the pressure on the abdominal wall pushes the belly button outward. Some women may notice this change as early as the second trimester, while others may see their belly button return to normal shortly after giving birth. Every pregnancy is unique, and the way your body adapts depends on various factors. Some women may never experience a belly button pop out, while others see it happen quickly. This doesn't mean anything about your baby's gender. It's just how your body is responding to pregnancy. But why do some women have an Audi belly button while others don't? This depends on factors such as skin elasticity, abdominal fat, and even the baby's position inside the womb. If your skin is more elastic, your belly button might not protrude as much. If you have a naturally deeper belly button, it may never fully pop out. Another interesting factor is the amount of amniotic fluid. Some pregnancies have more fluid, which can cause extra pressure on the abdominal wall, making the belly button more likely to pop out. Now, let's talk about other myths related to predicting baby gender. Have you heard that if you're carrying high, it's a girl, and if you're carrying low, it's a boy? Or that craving sweets means you're having a girl and craving salty foods means you're having a boy? These are fun traditions, but they don't have any scientific basis. The position of your baby depends on muscle tone, previous pregnancies, and the baby's size, not gender. The only way to accurately determine whether it's a boy or a girl is through medical exams, such as an ultrasound blood test like the NIPT, non-invasive prenatal test, or genetic testing. If you really want to know, schedule an ultrasound after the 16th to 20th week of pregnancy for the most reliable results. Now that we've debunked this myth, let me know in the comments. Did your belly button change during pregnancy? Did it pop out or stay in? Have you heard of other gender prediction myths? I'd love to hear your experiences. And don't forget to check out the baby products in the description. They have been carefully selected to support you during this special time. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more pregnancy and maternity tips. See you in the next video.